Okay, uh, we'll start here in three, two, one, go. Now, you'll notice that I'm doing the Genesis version. Last marathon I did the Saturn version with all the uh, fun load times. So, uh, to make it easier on how long I'm playing this game, we'll do the Genesis version. Are there any significant gameplay differences, or is it mostly just... They, they are pretty much the exact same gameplay-wise. The, all the bot, all the baddies are in the same spots. The flickies, flickies behave the same, and the controls are, as far as I can tell, the exact same. So, so most people are probably somewhat familiar with this game already, especially Sonic fans. But for those who aren't, uh, when it pertains to speed running, enemy locations are relatively fixed and you know, the level layouts are something you would obviously know if you're running this game. The biggest sort of time saver or time coster, I guess, I would say is if you do take damage accidentally, having to recover the flickies. Because the way the game works is you have to have a certain number of flickies in each area before you can advance to the next area. Yeah, it's basically snake battle rule. So if you get hit, yeah. your flickies scatter and you have to recover all of them. It can waste a lot of time because they'll just go off in random directions sometimes. Each of the Flickies behave differently when they're away from Sonic. And some some of the Flickies are very good about it, particularly the purple ones, as they'll just stay generally in one location, and if they see Sonic nearby, they will try to actually get to him. The blue ones, they kind of just wander on their own. I believe that they home in on Sonic a little bit. Uh, thankfully for this first zone, that's all you really see is the blue and purple ones. You do see a red one later on. The red one doesn't home in on Sonic, but he jumps around, so he can be annoying to try and catch. Uh, here we're gonna have a red one right here. And then... The last color is a green one, and the green ones are the most annoying. Because they can wander. And I don't know which way I'm going because I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are a good idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what I know. This game, I guess, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't panned by critics, but it wasn't particularly well received. Um, you know, it's not so much that it's, you know, a departure from the side-scrolling games, it's just that isometric platforming is frustrating in the best cases, so... Or awesome, awesome. depends on the game. <laughs> Did the Metroid 2002 server just crash? Uh, I can't get on the internet at all. Let me try it. Is our internet just crash? Is the stream still going? I'm gonna try it over the 3G. I... Or are we talking to just a camera? <laughs> I think we might be playing. I never like even we, think about that people uh, are watching me. I just talk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah, nothing's loading. So, oh, right. We got, we got so, uh, there it goes. Okay, I think we're back. There's just been a hiccup in the connection. Yeah, the internet went down for like 30 seconds. So that I that think it can happen. So. 26 seconds. I haven't had any blackouts yet. Yeah, and all the thunderstorms have passed, so it should, according to the weather, it's just nothing but sun for the rest of the marathon, so... Unless the heat knocks out the power. <laughs> There's a thought. We don't want to go outside right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> so hot, it gets down here. Considering I came here from Phoenix, I mean, this is nice weather. As far as I'm concerned, this is cool. Wow. Yeah, to a number of the SBA crew, they think that this weather is nice and cool. <laughs> If there's one good thing about getting shields, it's the fact that if I do take a hit, I don't lose the flickies. I need to get in the ballerina mode. Wait, so since you're 
obviously being not easy to have to crack, so now you use the glasses. And, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as this goes. Now, if I recall correctly, the Sonic 3D Blast sure. was made by a company from England. Um, the Traveler's Tales. Yeah, Traveler's Tales. Tales. Yeah, Traveler Tales. Traveler Tales. This yeah. one is connected to that. Totally different developer than made the uh, uh, side scrollers that came out before this. Oh, that was a good jump. I usually don't hit that. I'm not particularly crazy about this game, but one thing I will say, and I'm always going to comment on this in any game, but I think it does have a good soundtrack. Are you doubles in the Yeah, no. I know I don't have the soundtrack, but I know where I can probably get it for free. <laughs> I really do try to avoid taking damage, folks. Yeah, That's sorry, it's just I <laughs> switch the platform. What can you do? It's just really hard to judge your position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was is, an interesting experiment. You know, it wasn't a bad game. No, not really. I and mean, this is really, truly Sonic's first foray into 3D. It may not be full true 3D, but and it was a blast. That's the name of the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very clever with my puns. If that is possible. Yeah. Consistent five foot like per area. area. <laughs> if it was seven or more, if it was like seven or something, like, I'd freak out. Yeah, no. oh, well, it's a good thing. There's a little gauge yeah. down at the bottom that tells me how many I have left to get. Well, it tells me how many I've freed, and that's it. So if I lose them, I have to. It doesn't tell me where I've lost them. I. Oh, I don't think. Uh, I did you lose one, don't realize it, and you're, you get to the end of the level, and you're like, oh, I only have four, but I killed all the enemies. Hmm. That's just the worst. You have to go hunt the whole level for it. Yeah, I'm gonna try a trick here. Oh, yeah, the early game. Oh. Yeah, it didn't work. Trying to damage boost off the boss on the boss. Yeah, if, if you're lucky, you can damage, if you position yourself right, you can damage boost off the boss, on top of the hand, and just start pounding on Robotnik. At this point, he's still called Robotnik. I still call him Robotnik. I'm still I'm partial to the name. If they didn't want to call him Robotnik, they should have named him that in the first five Sonic games. That's his nickname, and it kind of he's always been a man in Japan. When they localized the original Sonic games, they called him Doctor Ivo Robotnik, and then they later retconned it to make things the same between both regions and changed it to Big Man. That's just because of his rotound figure. <laughs> Which just sounds, you know, comical, like he's just some, you know, Big character, robot. instead of <laughs> calling him Robotnik like an actual name. Yeah. Not that I know him, but he's Robotnik. I feel like I'm just named Robotnik. That's the whole point is that it's not really supposed to be into me, because he really isn't. Well, he wants to be. He's supposed to be the main villain of the series, though. I mean... Yeah, I think I find him a little more menacing than, like, Dr. Wiley. He wants to be intimidated. <laughs> I mean, he keeps being defeated by a furry little blue hedgehog. <laughs> 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 it's it's like the get light from the job. Yeah, I got the three. Awesome! Slither with your defense. I've been up for about 48 hours, so... Yeah. <laughs> what? Arrow, do you have any more games you can No, I'm gonna sleep. I just wanted to watch the three of the glass, because I think it's cool to watch. Yeah, I, I wanted to watch the Castlevania vlog, but I wanted to try to sleep with Castle Crashers. Yeah, I wanted to sleep for Rayman 2. Yeah, you better have enough sleep for Rayman 2. You're running it. <laughs> I have like, yeah. 12 hours to run the switch. Like, whoa, it's good. <laughs> Wait, I'm running this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I don't want to wake up hours. 
Ah, I missed it. That orange connection. So what was that orange thing that was covering you? That was a shield. That yeah, a shield. that's a gold shield. In this game, there are three shields. You have your regular blue shield, which actually protects you from electric attacks. Mm -hmm. You have the gold shield, which I just used, which acts as Sonic's first homing attack. I imagine that's where they got the idea for the homing attack for Sonic Adventure. And then uh, you have the red shield, which is their fire shield. Which, as the name implies, protects you from fire attacks. Yeah, in the, in the lava stages, um, having the fire shield is one of the best things that you can do. Because you can actually run on the lava. Yeah, because then you can actually run on the lava, and there's several fire attacks that occur that can be annoying because they you may not get hit by them, but if anything hits the flickies, you lose the flicky. And, so <laughs> and in the lava stages, they can hover over the lava, and that's annoying to try and catch them when they are hovering over the lava. If you don't have the flame shield. Yeah, if, yeah, if you don't have the flame shield. Leapfrog them back, like grab them, go as far as you can, take damage again, lose them, and jump back in after collecting rings to grab them again. It's just a pain. But it's either that or you just leap over the lava and hope that you run into the flicky while you're leaping. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so much fun. I don't think I'm going to actually hype it. It's kind of sad I don't because I'm not playing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we have, we have it really is a lot of fun. I mean, it's not awesome a high quality it's Sonic game. game. Okay, it's worth playing. Like, it's, you know, it's not a bad game, like I said. It's just you know, very different. It takes a while to get used to it. I still put it in my manure. Generation side. Oh well, yeah, no, that's our comparison. They all oh, have their own flaws. <laughs> it's pretty bad as well as it comes to flaws, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since uh, this one. Oh, good, I got it. Well, at, at least I hit him. That's one of the harder parts of that kind of thing. Just because of all the traps that are around him. God, yeah. Because you run over those holes and those spheres pop up. Yeah. And if you're not moving fast enough, they will knock the flick. I wasn't even trying the hard jump. I was like trying to do the easy jump and I slipped off. And then the crawling up the wall. Yeah, let's see if I can quick kill this boss. And then you hit me right as I was touching the corner. Yeah, let's see if I can quick kill this boss. And then you hit me right as I was touching the corner. And I fell down the Yeah. If you're up here on this platform, you can actually hit hit when he's in the air. Did you, uh. Did you go for a too, right? I died. Yeah, it's really like, risky. Uh, like 43, as you can obviously uh, see, I keep jumping uh, so I don't really take damage up there. So I don't get. So the spikes don't uh, pop up high enough to hit like to hurt me. Uh, I gotta make sure I jump high enough, enough to be able to hit really him. Yeah, yeah. And there I hit the bounce. It's going hard. I got one. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's consistent. It's more than you forget. Oh, I didn't move far enough. Considering, yeah, considering he has a couple of mistakes, There, got him. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I need to manipulate his pattern at all, or he's pretty he, much He just... follows you, but he does it in a we weaving yeah. movement. And so, oh, yeah. the best you can do is you can just leap, just stand up there, and he'll oh, eventually go up there. And he's When I first played this game and I got to this yeah. zone, this was my favorite zone. <laughs> no, actually it's, well, okay, it's probably my second favorite zone. <laughs> Panic Puppet's my first. Yeah, as long as you don't run into anything, being frozen and ice doesn't hurt you. Don't you have to do it in your areas? Yeah, right here, in fact, you have to. This right here was oh. yeah, This is what sold me on this being one of my favorite zones. <laughs> just this fact right here. You're frozen in ice and you just sit there and slide all over the place. I don't think this Wait, am I doing it? You're in the red and Sonic 3. You have a little heater to go through right there that just makes you all good. <laughs> I will admit, the snowboarding Sonic 3 really is cool, so... Being frozen yeah, in ice versus snowboarding. snowboarding. Hmm. Rabbit on a pogo stick, kind of redundant. 
Robotniks running out of ideas for his slaves. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to be careful about those snowmen. There, there is one glitch that can occur, and it's not a beneficial glitch. It is, a, in fact, a very detrimental glitch. If I roll it, normally the best way to attack the baddies is to roll into them and then immediately jump right after you've rolled into them so you can catch the Flicky mid-air. Uh, that way you don't have to hunt down the Flicky and it's quick and very simple. With the Snowmen, however, the Flickies are encased in ice and so you have to hit them a second time. If you roll into the Snowman from the top, from above them, the ice will actually drop on top of you and crush you and result in an instant death. So, like, that snowman right there, had I attacked him from above, it would have killed me. Um, now, normally I don't run into that one that way, but I do have a little habit that I've slightly overcome on some of the snowmen that we're coming up on. That one right there is one. But as I hit it from the bottom inside there, no problem. That's uh, just the wonders of isometric. Oh, see, I just triggered it right there. Uh, and that was coming from the bottom. Huh. Yeah, I looked away and then you were instantly dead, so. Yeah, it didn't matter how many rings I had, it didn't matter if I had a shield, it squished me. I'm dead. It wasn't even an animation for it, was it? What? Was there an animation for it? Or is there no animation of you dying? Uh, yeah, yeah you, you just pop up into the air and then it fades. Mm -hmm. People are boom. So there's that snowman which you saw pulled the glitch on me. And then coming up here in this next area, there's another snowman that tends to do it on me. All right, uh, but real quick, we had a uh, new donation. Go for it. Dollars from David Heineman. He didn't have a comment, uh, but I'll keep refreshing see if you do. In either case, uh, thank you for the donation. It's going towards a great cause. Have we not had any donations at all to the language yet? I don't mean, um, yeah, it works out. We, we were hoping that someone who was actually doing, participating in that could explain it better, because we didn't really... Yeah, basically what it is, is um, at any point that's not in the cutscene, we can pause, go to options, change the language, and then any text that comes up will be in that language. And the, the additional thing they'll be doing is Essentia and Brosentia will be voice acting, in whichever language it is. And so, there's wow. the five languages you can see that you can choose from. English, Spanish, French, Italian, and German. So just say which one you want. And, uh... Did I drop it again? No, I guess not. So, uh... Yeah, just say which one you want, and if another one takes the lead during the run, uh, he'll switch to it on the fly. Yeah, that's one way to gauge his health. Um, this one is those little freezing spouts, whatever you want to call them. Freeze guns. This boss is a lot shorter. He likes snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no people can. Oh, we're so giving yeah. People, I mean, do they just responded to me, so it's like I couldn't assume it. I don't know why I'm not sure if you your list is a moderator. It's bizarre. I wasn't my fastest, but. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, oh see this. Yeah. Oh, and three minutes on lava. That was luck, right there. And that's what I was talking about on this stage. The flickies will hover over that lava. What's worse is because of the uh, color palette limitations, the purple flicky is now a hot orange, yes. and it merges with the lava, and so if I lose one of the purple flickies, it's the toughest bird to find, especially if it's hover hovering over the lava. I never noticed that before, they actually recolored the flickies. Oh wait, you lost the green one. Yeah, but I missed the baddie, got hit into that hole, and the green one's up there by the flame guns. <laughs> they even look like flames, it's like mud spray or something. Lava spray or something. 
I didn't have enough momentum to keep my roll. last until either the end of the stage or I get hit and lose them, whichever comes first. I like that that's the only thing in the game that doesn't look 3D. I just didn't even try. <laughs> well, how do, you, how do you make a shield look 3D? <laughs> <laughs> just this you, make, you make it like, um, like the, the longitude lines and just spinning. Oh, like the lightning shield off of Sonic 3. Yeah. Oh, that would work. Now, did this come out before Sonic 3 or after Sonic 3, though? That was the thing. Oh, came after. Came after? Okay. I'm pretty sure it even came after Sonic Knuckles, because Sonic Knuckles was at least not that long after Sonic 3. Yeah, I, I just passed probably the hardest part of that stage. Corrects itself to hit you again. You hit Robotic and bounce oh, over it to set up our again, and so it just yeah. kind of loops. Yes. have a mind of their own, which in a speedrun does not cooperate. I mean, really, I don't know, like, I can't remember the current record we have on SDA for this, but... There is none. Oh, there's no current record. We do not have a speedrun in this game yet. Oh. So that's another project that I could work on. I was going to say, though, that I think any submitted run, I think we have to not necessarily not take damage ever, but if it takes damage, yeah. Like have the minimal repercussions, like it would take damage to this point where you don't have flippies or recover them really fast. Because it just wastes too much time on it. Yeah. It's a run killer if you get hit. Yeah. And like you said, it's not necessarily because of the fact that you get hit, it just depends on how quickly you recover them. Yeah. And like I said, the green ones are probably the worst defenders when it comes to trying to recover them because they just wander on their own. And I mean, generally, like in the other Sonic games, you know, the uh, Genesis Sonic games, rather, you know, they're very competitive, and so any run that took damage, you know, unless it was intentional, uh, would never be accepted. But a game like this, I would usually say, you know, usually be more forgiving, just because of the nature of it. Let's see. Alright, we have a 
It's not serious time. Oh, it's what? No, it's not serious uh, time. Uh, we have another dollar from Matthew Burkle. He says, just to be overly technical, oh I'd consider Sonic CD to actually be Sonic's first real foray into 3D huh. at the special stages. Sonic 2 special stages are close to 3D as well, but you can move in two directions. That's true. That is true. I remember being very excited by Sonic 2 special stages the first time I saw it. Is that the sphere one? No, no that's, that's the half pipe. The half pipe. Sonic 3 oh, is the sphere. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, that, that one. Yeah, Sonic 3 was even more close to 3D, but um, yeah, Sonic 2 was pretty cool. Yeah, you could move. You could move left, right, up, down, and jump. So, so you could do. You could do loops and loops like all around. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Even though there's nothing above you, it did make sense. <laughs> Let's put it on top of an unkillable turret. It's not going to make a difference. Well, that, and even just trying to get to those locations can be difficult. There, there have been a few runs that I've... A few practice runs where I just had the hardest time trying to even get on those platforms. And as you saw, even at the, at the top of the slope that first time when I got up there, I hesitated for a second as I wanted to make sure that I was going to face the right direction. I will say this, if you think uh, getting a satisfactory, submittable run of this game would be hard, getting a 100% run of this game with all the Chaos Emeralds would just be a nightmare. It's actually not that hard in the Genesis version. Uh, I, I can, if I wanted to, I could actually get all the uh, Chaos Emeralds within the first two zones. There's enough special zones to do it? Yeah. Uh, what happens is you have to f collect 50 rings and you have to find tails of, tails of her knuckles. And I mean, finding them isn't the hard part. I think the hard part is getting 50 rings and keeping it through the level. But I guess if you can do them all in World 1 and World 2, you're going to be as bad. Yeah, I usually don't get hit very often in, world, in the first two zones, so it's quite easy to get 50 rings. And the rings are very plentiful. And then, as far as on the Genesis version, the special stages are a joke. Uh, whereas I don't even remember the special stages. I'm trying to remember myself. They are seriously a joke. They're just this wood platform, and it's supposed to be similar to the original half fight from Sonic 2, but it just doesn't even work. Uh, and they give you like three times as many rings as you really need. Each checkpoint. The Saturn version of this game, however, uh, brings back the half pipe and adds a bunch of new gimmicks, including springs and extended jumps and platforms to the half pipe. So there's a gameplay difference. Only in the special stages. Yeah. But that's about as far as it gets. In terms of the speed run, where you usually don't get the Chaos Emeralds, no gameplay difference. I always found this boss to be pathetically easy compared to like all the other bosses. Yeah, you slide backwards because you're on the conveyor belt. But if you face certain directions, then he just Sonic slides into the side and it, the side slows him down to the point where he can actually stay put. Stay stay put. <laughs> See, the momentum slowed down enough that I'm basically staying put. I think you can just roll through the spikes. <laughs> I love how all the uh, hazards hazard boost their collision detection. Yeah. You now this is one of my this is my favorite song just because of the music. This is the last zone. For a normal speed run. They're doing the all chaos emeralds then there's one more zone after this, but as I'm haven't gotten a single chaos emerald yet, and as far as I know, Tails and Knuckles don't even make an appearance in this zone, so even though this is the last zone, it's actually kind of easy, at least in the sense that they put the flickies in little containers for you to play this He hasn't had time to turn into the baddies yet. To grow by the size of them. Oh! Oh! Really? Joy! That's 
Yes, yeah, so that, great that is where right shields there. come in very handy because the shield, if you have a shield, the flickies are protected to the point where they can't be knocked away from you until you lose the shield. But as, but as I had no shields and the flicky got hit, depending on which flicky gets hit, any flickies that are behind it also get knocked away from you. So in that case, uh, the fourth flicky got hit, and so the fourth and the fifth flicky just got lost. It's like they're just like holding little feather hands. Yeah, hand. something like that. <laughs> now, Panic Puppet I like because it's so short. You only have to get those five flickies for the first act, and the second act has no flickies whatsoever. So now we're back down to the pure so Sonic you play, speed. You play the entire game with just flickies. So you can... Yes, no more flickies. Pretty much. Still baddies, but they're all, they, none of them uh, produce flickies. See, honestly, if the stage had been more like, I mean, the entire game had been more like the stage where there weren't flickies that you had to worry about, it was just like, you know, a 3D Sonic game would just run through as oh, fast yeah. as possible. Oh, yeah. I think it would have been a lot better. Because this stage is one of the best ones. That's why I like it so much. Between that and the music. So, this is your favorite stage? And the ice is your second favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Good to have that sort of out. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah, will that's be a quiz at the end of this run. So. It's exceptionally important to know which stages are your favorites for a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, dang it, I didn't jump. I, I jumped too early. Yeah, you gotta love that level exit. <laughs> right through the nose. I thought it was gonna shoot you out through that halfway through. Run that you do with the marathon. <laughs> no. 